This is Kim Jong-un's $100 million jet collection, and it's made to rival President Biden's Air Force One, but that doesn't even come close to his $150 million private train network, or his insane watch collection, which almost signaled his death once. Today, we're going to look at all that and more as we take a look at all the stupidly expensive things Kim Jong-un owns, starting off with his ludicrous and illegal car collection. Car collection, in January 2019, Kim Jong-un was spotted traveling in two Mercedes Maybachs, in spite of a UN-backed sanction on importing luxury vehicles in North Korea. So how did these $500,000 luxury Mercedes Maybachs make their way into Kim Jong-un's possession? Well, the answer is simple. Smugglers. You see, when you're someone who's as rich and powerful as Kim Jong-un, sanctions and a possible prison sentence of 20 years for evading sanctions doesn't mean much. If the Supreme Leader wants something, no one is going to stop him. This is exactly why, that despite the international ban stopping North Korea from importing luxury vehicles, Kim Jong-un has not just one or two, but more than a dozen luxury cars totaling over almost $6 million. North Korea likes to keep things secret, so no one really knows the exact number of cars that Kim Jong-un owns. However, some of the cars that he's been seen driving around in include a several $1.5 million Mercedes Maybach, S600 Pullman Guards, a $600,000 fully decked out Rolls-Royce Phantom, two $500,000 Mercedes Maybach S680s, a vintage Lincoln Continental Coach Limousine, and even a new Lexus LX570. Kim Jong-un's car collection has been shaking some heads recently too. During a recent visit to Russia, Putin gifted Kim Jong-un a $1 million Russian-made custom Oris Senat presidential limousine. This presidential-grade luxury limousine is one of only two in the world and was made specifically for Kim Jong-un. A civilian version is available for $400,000, but Kim Jong-un's version is impossible for a civilian to own. Complete details about the presidential Oris Senat aren't available publicly, but according to reports online, the car comes with luxury leather seats, a high-tech infotainment system, run-flat tires, and even bulletproof glass. Impressed? That's not all. It has also been confirmed that this luxury armored limousine can survive even a bomb. Can't take any chances when you're the most hated dictator in the world. How Kim Jong-un himself got this almost a million dollar limo is a funny story too. Apparently Kim Jong-un loves limos, and during his previous visit to Russia, asked President Putin if he could ride in the back seat of his presidential limousine. Being the kind-hearted and loving leader he is, Putin decided to just gift Kim Jong-un the limousine next time he visited. Trains. Now cars are cool, but Kim Jong-un is more of a train guy. In fact, Kim Jong-un even takes all his meetings on trains. These trains aren't your average trains though, and feature some of the finest luxuries that money can buy. First built in 1950, the North Korean presidential train also called the Moving Fortress was constructed so North Korean leaders could travel to remote areas safely and swiftly. Both the rail network and number of carriages were later increased for Kim Jong-un's father after it was revealed that he was scared of flying and would only travel by train. Kim Jong-un, however, took the entire Moving Fortress to a whole new level. The train, which is basically a tank on rails at this point, features both security and opulence. Built to be used as Kim Jong-un's mobile headquarters, the train has bulletproof glass, reinforced walls and floors to protect against explosives. Defense isn't the only thing the Moving Fortress is good at, and packs quite a punch itself with onboard machine guns, surface-to-air missiles, and anti-tank guided missiles. There are also confirmed reports of there being two armored Mercedes cars, and an illegally obtained attack helicopter being stored in this mobile fortress. Anyone looking to mess with Kim Jong-un while he's traveling is in for a world of pain. As for luxuries, let's just say the train speaks for itself. Five-star meals with lobsters, mussels, steaks, and red Bordeaux and Beaujolais wines flown in from Paris are available on board, according to former Russian military commander Konstantin Pulikovsky, who accompanied Kim Jong-un on the 2001 ride. It was possible to order any dish of Russian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and French cuisine. Where do they eat these five-star meals? Well, in the dedicated luxury dining hall, of course. The train has over 90 different carriages, with each carriage having an entirely separate design language and purpose. There's a dedicated dining hall, a conference room, a guest carriage, VIP bedrooms, and even a fully decked out meeting room. Footage from a recent trip showed that the guest carriage had plush pink leather sofas and a beautiful white interior. How much does this cost? A mind-blowing $140 million if not more. Truly, the epitome of opulence. Planes. 
when Kim Jong-un isn't driving around in cars or taking joyrides in $140 million trains. He's up in the sky enjoying the views. Unlike his father, Kim Jong-un isn't afraid of heights and loves traveling the world on his own $50 million private jet. Loving might be an overexpression, though, since Kim has only used his $100 million air fleet only nine times since he got it. Yes, you heard that right. Kim Jong-un dished out $100 million for top-of-the-line customized private jets, and he doesn't even use them. The two private jets are thought to be Russian-made Ilyushin 62s, which at the time of their production were the biggest jetliners in the world at 175 foot long. Kim Jong-un has his planes completely decked out with a luxury interior that involves plush carpet-lined floors and an aesthetic interiors decorated with oversized white leather chairs, shiny rosewood tables, and beautiful crystal ashtrays. Originally, these planes come with a seating capacity of 200 passengers, but the ones that Kim Jong-un owns have been modified for ultra-high-end luxury, and as a result, their seating capacity has been greatly reduced. Those places are now occupied by luxury bedrooms and dining halls so that the supreme leader can feel right at home even in the skies. The cost to maintain these aerial palaces, along with all the required staff, means that these planes can cost upwards of $50 million each. Here's the shocker though, Kim Jong-un is apparently a pilot himself and regularly flies his own planes. Footage uploaded the North Korean state media showed Kim Jong-un taking one of his planes for a mile-high joyride. Being the supreme leader, however, means that Kim Jong-un doesn't need to do tedious tasks like this himself, and usually he's just enjoying the view while his pilots take him for rides over Pyongyang. Watch Collection Ready for another shocker? Talking about shock, did you know that the American Secret Service once used Kim Jong-un's luxury watch collection to find out that he was sick? You see, Kim Jong-un's taste for the finer things in life means that he only wears very specific watches which fit his liking. His favorite watch in his collection is a beautiful Swiss-made luxury IWC automatic Portofino, and it's the watch he likes wearing the most. How did this watch almost signal his death, though? Well, during June of 2021, U.S. Special Operations Command Intelligence noticed that Kim Jong-un was wearing his watch much tighter than he used to, which meant that he had lost a significant amount of weight in a very short time. This sudden loss of weight meant that Kim Jong-un was either very sick or stressed about some issues in North Korea. This sudden weight loss could also indicate that the gears for succession might already be turning behind the scenes. According to Mike Brodka, a U.S. Special Operations Command intelligence officer in South Korea, who explained further that, on the surface, noticeable weight loss may not mean much, but it can provide clues to other information that intelligence collectors look for. Crazy how just a tightened watch could signal upcoming disaster for an entire country. As for the other watches in his collection, Kim Jong-un also likes to wear a Quartz Movado Museum Classic. This watch retails for around $1,500 and is another beautiful Swiss timepiece. The Quartz Movado Museum is characterized by its jet black dial complemented by a striking gold case, both of which come together to signify tasteful elegance. Apparently, Kim Jong-un bought a Movado museum for his wife too, and both of them are big fans of the timepiece. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on one of the videos here, and I will meet you there. See you in the next one!